on the stage, you guys are gonna love him. Start clapping for Mark Renzel. <laughs> Hang out. Hang out. So I'm a big fan of uh, TV show drinking games because uh, drinking alone and yelling at the TV seems a lot less sad and pathetic if there's a game involved. I have a good one for fans of the show Lost. Any Lost fans tonight? Uh, yeah. And you like to drink as well? Cool, we should hang out. So the next time you're watching Lost, you take a drink when you find yourself doing this. What? <laughs> the fuck? I think the same rules can apply to Battlestar Galactica, if anybody likes that. So. This friend of mine last week, he tried to say goodbye to me by giving me a, a, a pound, and I don't really, like, pound it out very well. Doesn't sound like something I want to do with another man. I, active, I actually like instinctively flinch if a man does this, which earns me a lot of respect, as you can imagine. I still prefer the open-handed approach, you know, like a slapping or a shaking. So it turned into two white guys doing the paper beats rock handshake. <laughs> which just looks so stupid. There was something on the news recently about this. There was something in the news recently about this sex cult in San Francisco. This guy uh, runs some kind of transcendental meditative jerk-off thing, and he says, that, uh, he says that he can give a woman an orgasm that lasts for 20 minutes. I mean, fucking amateur. And the gist of it was, that he didn't even have to touch them. Like, he could just give a woman an orgasm from, the cro from across the room just by, by looking at them. You know, he would he demonstrated, but you just go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that? Yeah. You want to say your boyfriend's here. Huh? So I was saying, I want to have this power, I want to be able to do this, I want to be able to give somebody an orgasm just by looking at them, but I'm not going to do it with women, I'm going to use it on men, because I think it would help get me out of a jam. Like, if some guy tried to mug me, a guy comes up to me and says, Yo, give me all your money! I said, give me all money, motherfucker! <laughs> if I got pulled over by a cop, Sir, do you know why we pulled you over? <laughs> Sir, I pulled you over because... Oh, 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 oh. I think that guy would have a lot of explaining to do to his partner. You know, Steve, you're supposed to give the guy a ticket, not jizz in your pants and let him drive away. That's, that is not procedure. I don't know where you went to academy. So I, uh, I got married last year. Yes. And uh, I have an older brother who's been married a lot longer, so every once in a while I check in with him for advice. So I said, Mike, how do you deal with your wife's hormones? And he punched me in the face. And I just thought that was terrible advice. And he said, listen, buddy, my wife is no whore, and her moans are for my ears only. And I, I still like it, Dave. I still like that one. <laughs> I'm gonna do it till it's dead fucking silent. Well, one thing is different now that I'm married, I don't get a lot of hand jobs anymore, which is, uh, you know, it's totally fine. Ladies, we don't like hand jobs. <laughs> they're like, they're not even like the bronze medal of sexual activity. It's like the. This bargain gesture you make at the beginning of the relationship, like, I'll touch your cock, but it's not going here, and it's not going there. I mean, we'll take it, because you don't want to be, you know, rude. But they're rarely any good, and it's like, it's, they're just not your equipment, not your expertise. You don't really know what you're doing. And, you know, the look on your face pretty much says everything. It's like, I don't know, it's like you're mashing potatoes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
just... It's just very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> anyways, anyways. You guys have been really, really great. That's my time.